Welcome back to the course on Error Signal Processing for Music Applications. In this uh, class, in this demo class, I want to introduce free sound. Uh, you already might have noticed that uh, all the sounds that I have been using and the sounds that we will be using come from this uh, website, from Freesound. So it's a great uh, resource uh, for this uh, course and I want you to understand a little bit more and to take advantage of it uh, as much as possible. So Freesound is a, is a website that was started at the Music Technology Group at the Universidad de Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona uh, close to 10 years ago. But the truth is that uh, it's been maintained and supported uh, by a large community of people that uh, believe in it, that uh, love uh, to play around with sounds and that are contributing and, uh, and maintaining uh, this uh, website. So let's uh, go to uh, the website. Okay, so here is uh, the website and um, is a website uh, that already has a, a huge number of, uh, of sounds, uh, currently has uh, more than 20,000 sounds and there's a lot of activity around it, so there is more than uh, 50,000 people every day accessing, downloading sounds and contributing in some way uh, or another. But anyway, let's start using it. Uh, so typically what uh, you do is in the search uh, uh, menu you will uh, type uh, the name of, uh, of some uh, sound. So for example, let's type uh, flute note. Okay, and this uh, returns uh, the sounds that it has found that include these two uh, names, either in the tags or in the descriptions. It has found 1,074 sounds. So let's go maybe to one of these sounds. Okay, so this is a sound of a, a flute, a note B4, and we can play it. Okay, so typically all the sound entries include uh, a description of the sound. This one is pretty good, so it has a description of how the sound was recorded and what it is, and then it has some of the key uh, descriptions of the sound, and also it has tags that uh, this is a very useful way for then other people find this sound uh, through different uh, concepts that might be related to this sound and here it has all the technical information about the sound. Okay, Let's go uh, back to uh, the, the sound uh, results that we found and here we have many other sounds, so for example even sounds that of course that are not a flute, for example this ocarina sound, but in the description it, it mentioned that it's a flute-like sound and if we play it Okay, the ocarina has a flute-like sound, but one way to search for sounds that is quite interesting is through a similarity, which in fact what this does is analyzes all the sounds of free sound, it analyzes the spectrum of all these sounds, and it looks for other sounds that might have a spectrum similar to this one. So this ocarina sound has a spectrum similar to this one. So for example, this is a one second nose flute and and yes, it's a sound very similar to ocarina and if we play all these other sounds, uh, the distance increases so they will be less and less similar but they have a, a similarity with this, uh, this sound. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. So let's go back uh, to uh, the main uh, page and in here also you can uh, search for sounds and information through many uh, other ways. If you go to the sounds page in here you can browse uh, through uh, all the sounds according to like uh, the, the tags uh, and uh, the packs or for example an interesting uh, browsing uh, possibility is what uh, is called the geotags. So geotags uh, are um, uh, sounds that have been uh, sort of identified with a geotag. So uh, sounds that have been recorded in a particular location in the, in the world and that uh, people have uh, identified the, the place where this was, uh, was uh, recorded. So you can find, so if you look in Barcelona, 
of course there is a lot of sounds from our city because we are very active uh, there so this is Barcelona there is a uh, 2,300 sounds coming from Barcelona but there are sounds from all over the world and uh, you can navigate uh, through these sounds uh, this way so that's uh, pretty good of course once uh, you like uh, one sound you can download it uh, so for example in the case of the sounds of this uh, course I uh, label um, all the sounds with a particular tag which was ASP course so if we uh, look for a sound that have the ASP course um, uh, label uh, or tag uh, you will find them all here so in this case here it has all the sounds that uh, I have been uploading um, for the course so you can play it of course but if we want to download this sound we can just simply uh, click at the download you have to be logged in which in, the, in my case I am already logged in so I can just download it and it will save the file in the same format that uh, the sound was uploaded so that's pretty good but what I want to do now is to do uh, the opposite to upload a sound I think it's uh, very uh, good for people to upload uh, sounds in this class that uh, might be of relevance for the course or you might have uh, a sound that might be interesting to analyze or you might have uh, a sound that you have transformed and that uh, you want to share with other people so I encourage to upload uh, sounds and uh, maybe put the same label ASP course so that other people can can find uh, your sounds um, so let's uh, think of a sound that we might want to upload that is, is not there. So for example, let's see if uh, there are many sawtooth uh, synth synthesis sounds of a sawtooth. Well, there's quite a few, but I don't see the standard kind of uh, uh, straight sawtooth of high quality. Here there is uh, one which is very weird because it's 8 bits. So okay, so let's go to uh, Audacity and let's generate uh, a tone using a sawtooth okay so let's uh, select sawtooth frequency 440 hertz and let's put an amplitude of uh, fa, uh, 0 0.5 and let's have five seconds uh, sawtooth okay so this is it let's hear it okay so we will upload that let's maybe uh, to make it nicer let's add a fade in at the beginning uh, a fade out at the end uh, okay and that's it now we can uh, save the file export it and in the my directory let's put sawtooth and uh, it's uh, 440 hertz okay so let's uh, okay let's uh, save it we have it now from the the free sound website we can just click at the upload sounds button and here upload and we'll have the sawtooth 440 hertz um, so that's okay it's already done and now what is important is to describe the sound so it has the option to describe the sound and here we click describe and um, we can specify tags and description of the sound so for example for uh, description we can say okay this was a sawtooth uh, um, generated the waveform for example uh, of uh, frequency 440 Hz um, of 5 seconds G generated with audacity okay let's put on five seconds okay and then in terms of tags we might put of course the word uh, sawtooth uh, we can use uh, 440 hertz 440 is a4 so that's uh, pretty good is a uh, electronic sound it's uh, produced with uh, synthesis techniques so let's put synth also it's quite a common word it's a waveform 
okay that uh, that should do it so that's pretty good and uh, let's just uh, well in the pack I, these are the packs I have and maybe I have a synthesis pack so maybe let's put it there and the license uh, there is uh, three types of license I can use Creative Commons Zero that means public domain anything can do attribution that means people have to uh, say that it comes from uh, free sound or restrict that uh, it should not be used uh, commercially so normally I like the attribution uh, so I will put attribution and I will submit it and that's it uh, it has already been um, uploaded and now there will be uh, moderators that will uh, check if uh, this uh, sound was uh, was well described and it is not infringing any legal uh, thing I didn't take it from any other place and then it, it will come up in uh, in free sound okay uh, that's basically what uh, what I wanted to say uh, so uh, let's go back to here and uh, okay so we have uh, talked about uh, free sound and uh, a very important concept I want to emphasize and that you should uh, be familiar with is all these licensing issues uh, Creative Commons is a great set of uh, licenses uh, and for sounds uh, are very much uh, appropriate and free sound uses them uh, uh, very well okay and then uh, we have used Audacity to generate this sawtooth and we have referred to this pack uh, in, uh, within free sound where I keep all the sounds uh, for the course and that's all. Um, so I have introduced uh, free sound. Hopefully this has been of interest to you and I encourage you to take advantage of it, to use it, uh, get sounds from it, but even more to upload sounds, to put things that you believe might be of interesting, uh, uh, might be interest, uh, interesting to the community. Uh, and uh, through this course you will have the opportunity to generate and, and, and record uh, sounds that might be of relevance to free sound. So anyway, thank you very much and I hope to see you next class. Bye-bye.